Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today with some hypertherm plasma cutting machines. So we're going to do a little comparison video between the 30 Air, the 30 XP, and the 45 XP. Um, so in this video, we're going to go over some of the different uh, cut capacities, uh, voltage outputs, and just all eight differences and where maybe each one has their own sp specific application. Um, so let's dive right in. So as you can see, we got them lined up here. We got the 30 Air, 30 XP, 45 XP. So Visually, the, the, the 45 and the 30 Air are, are much bigger than the 30 XP. Um, but obviously the 30 Air has a built-in air compressor, right? So there, you do not need air for this unit. It does 110, 220. Same with this, 110, 220 on the 30 XP. Uh, weight difference, we got 31 pounds here and we got about 20 pounds here. So we got a little bit uh, difference on uh, weight, but obviously we have an air compressor. Uh, cut capacity on the 30 air, 5 sixteenths, 3 eighths, and then this is 3 eighths, half inch. So with an external air source, we can cut a little bit thicker material than the generated air source. And then obviously on the 45 XP, we got 33 pounds uh, weight, and then we can cut 5 eighths, 7 eighths, no problem all day, sever up to an inch and an eighth. So this one has much more cut capacity, but remember, 220 only on this unit. Cannot do 110 on 45 XP, but the 30 XP and the 30 Air can do 110. So a little bit of, you know, and what applications would you need? Um, in my opinion, and in my thoughts, the 30 Air would be awesome if you didn't have an air compressor or you just had to get to a spot that you were not gonna drag an air compressor to, would be great. But if you're in a home hobby shop, you're at you know on the farm, that sort of thing, you got air, you got 220, 30 XP is awesome because right, we can go 3 8 material, half inch material, and it'll cut it all day, no problem. Small, portable, light, you know, it's just nice. And if we got air. But if you were gonna ever step up into the one inch area plate or you know, five eighths, seven eighths plate, boom, 45 XP is for you. Now, just walk around to the front here. Uh, just noticeable differences between the two 30s, right? 30 Air, 30 XP. A little bit different face plates on them, but still recommended, right? 15 to 30 amp cut, 15 to 30 amp cut on these, right? Both of them will do 110, 220. Um, but obviously this one generates its own air. Now, just to show you the difference between the torches here. So you can see mo very similar uh, grips, triggers, that sort of thing, but this is an Air T30. This is a Duramax T or LT, I'm sorry, it's a light torch. So different consumables, and you can see on the heads there, totally different consumables. So the air uses a little bit different consumable because it channels the air generated by the compressor inside a little bit differently than what the consumables on the 30 XP do. So you cannot run the same consumables, but I just want to give you a side-by-side -side comparison. Physically, the one's not bigger than the other one. It's just got a little bit different nozzle electrode retaining cap setup. Um, still got trigger locks on them. Both are 15 foot long. Both are hardwired right into the, the unit themselves. So is the ground. So I'll set them back down. We'll kind of walk over here. So where the deciding factor on whether or not you want to be in the 30 XP or the 45 XP, I, and, and where I like to lay this one out is, so if you're going to plasma cut and you're not going to do much, but you want, you know you want to because you got some projects coming up and you want to use a plasma cutter, but it's not going to be like a rep repetitive thing, the 30 XP is probably for you. Very, uh, very nice unit, cuts, you know, 3 8 half inch material, um, but not as heavy duty as the 45 XP. Now, if you're gonna be more repetitious, we got a 25 foot lead on this unit. We got a, a detachable ground, detachable uh, gun. So if something happens, you can put a machine torch on the 45 XP. So if you do buy a plasma table, it has a CPC connection, it'll hook right up. You can put a machine torch on it, it'll run the plasma table. The 30 will not. So just to give you a physical size comparison between the torches, 45 XP is much bigger. The consumables are different, but basic pre same premise, trigger locks. This one's got a torch lockout, so we can lock out the torch, change the consumables. This is in my other videos I can show you. We gotta cycle the power when we change the consumables on a 30 XP. This one we can just lock the torch out, 
change the consumables, unlock the torch, and we don't have to cycle power. So it cuts down on downtime um, because we can just swap it out, lock it out, and go right on our merry way. So pretty nice torch. I like the 45 XP torch. It's a little, it's bigger than the 30. Um, feels better in my hand. And obviously we got 5 8 7 8 cut capacity on this unit. So you can see too, we got cut and I'll toggle that button and gouge. So we got, we can gouge with the 45 XP. We can gouge with the 32, but this one is, has a setting for it. So it changes your air output um, and it, it reconfigures some parameters inside the unit. So the older 45s used to have to adjust air pressure on the back when you went to gouge. This one automatically sets it. It's awesome. You don't have to mess with it. And obviously we can go down to 10 amps all the way up to 45 amps. Power button on the front. Nice rugged look on the machine. Um, a little bit heavier right than the 30, but much more cut capacity. And then another thing I'd like to point out is that the 30, we cannot, this one has a uh, bulb on the back. So it's basically an air separator built in. So we can pull that off, clean it out, change the filter. The 30 does not have that option, but there is one internally but it just doesn't have an external unit like that where we can swap that out. But either way, we recommend the secondary um, air separator for the back of both of these units, right? To clean your air coming out of your air compressor. Um, just for safe measure, because you don't want water coming out of the torch. If water comes out of the torch, we got bad news going down. You're gonna wreck your torch and that's an expensive piece of equipment. Luckily though, if you do wreck the torch, we can unplug it here, change it out. The 30, we cannot. So we have to take it to a service center to have that torch changed. Um, all in all, the, the, the units have very big differences and sitting side by side, it kind of gives you a good comparison between torches and how big they are. Um, but you know, it's up to you guys what you want to do and, and what your cut capacity is going to be in the field or at your house or on the farm or anything like that. I mean, and, and I get a lot of questions about, you know, what, what kind of generator do I need and how much air do I need? So all of these units, I would recommend a 10,000 watt generator. Definitely need a 10,000 watt for the 45 XP. These two, you can use a smaller generator, but still to get maximum cut capacity and run it on 220, I would recommend a 10,000 watt generator. That's just my personal preference. Air, this one obviously generates its own air. This one, you only need four cubic feet per minute at 85 PSI. So smaller air compressor will be fine, 20 gallon. Uh, you know, your regular, when you buy local hardware store, right? Um, would keep up with this unit. This one requires 400 cubic feet an hour. So we're talking a little bit bigger air compressor, probably a 40, 50 gallon air compressor, um, maybe 125 or 120 PSI and probably six to seven cubic feet per minute, right? Output wise to keep up with the 45 XP. I'm not saying your little pancake compressor won't keep up. It just won't keep up long. Uh, duty cycles, obviously these ones on 220 are about 35%. And this one is 50% on 220. So we can cut for five minutes and then have continuously and then have five minutes off. So it's got a bigger, so a bigger duty cycle on 220. These ones are 35% on 220. So to step up to the 45, you're getting more duty cycle, more output, better cut capacity, but you also need bigger air compressor, bigger generator if you're gonna go portable. So that all boils down to what existing equipment you may have or how much money you wanna spend on equipment to run these in a portable style thing. So um, if you got any questions or comments, please leave them down below. We'll do our best to answer them. and. You know, just covering the warranties are all the same. Three year warranties on all the machines, one year warranties on all the torches. Doesn't cover, uh, you know, severing the torch, cutting the torch, smashing, running it over, that sort of thing. But it does cover internal components. The warranty does. And as far as the machine goes, three year warranty on those. Uh, Hypertherm is, uh, you know, independently owned, family owned. They are great to deal with customer service wise. So if you guys have a problem on our service center, or it needs service, usually, you know, most, nine times out of 10, we don't have any trouble covering it under warranty. They do a great job at 
getting back to us on that sort of thing and uh, they stand by their product which is great and they're all made in America their consumables are made here um, and we'll link all the consumables down below too as well check out all my other videos that cover each one of these units indiv individually and I go over some more specs and some other options you can get on them well thanks again for watching stay tuned for some more I'll see you guys later